Back to the charts with Big Boss Crypto, bringing you another day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on Chainlink. Wow, what a day yesterday after the CPI numbers. Bitcoin just pumped to the upside and went up to 19k. Wow, we started the week at 17k approximately and now we are slightly below 19k. What does this mean for us? Is it time to take profits on your longs? And is it maybe time to build some shorts? Well, let's look at the chart. So for those of you who saw my last day trading update, I said that we created somewhat of a W structure down in the 16.5k area. And that was where I told you guys that longs will look interesting in this zone because we created this W bottom pattern and I said that it might be a good idea to start building some longs and wow it turned out to be a great idea because yeah I made some profits on my long trades I took some profits after CPI numbers yesterday and I'm currently looking at a reversal of some kind but let's first look at what happened yesterday and the days before that because they created this w bottom pattern to induce traders to go short because that's what they do when they pump price up a little bit and then they drop it again and this is where they build their longs in the shortest in the lowest point possible and that's what i did and price reversed from there in three steps first pump up first retrace second leg up second retrace and now we are in our third and final leg up and from what we can see we haven't made a huge drop from this top at 19k yet so we could possibly take these zones to the upside where there is volume counts residing at 19.2k to 19.2 3k and if we go even above that we could go to 20.4k and that is where i do think we will top out we could possibly top out even right now if we possibly drop from this zone where we're at right now go to this volume cal recover some of it let's say 18.3k make another high of some kind possibly even higher than this high at 19k or lower let's say 18 19k that is where we possibly might reverse again to the downside and go to possibly 17k but we need a double top formation of some kind to happen it's not happening right now so i do think we have a little bit more upside to go However, not that much. We're not going to see 25k in the next week, in my opinion. So it's possibly a great idea to start building some shorts. You can start almost right now. Build your first short. If price goes even higher, let's say to 19.5k, you could have an order here. And one at possibly 20k as well. And that is where you might want to wait it out to a price reversal. This is not financial advice, this is just for educational purposes only, you do whatever you want to do. We have we have a lot of oil and gas to the downside, so be very careful. Because there are a lot of volume to be filled, a lot of orders in this zone to the downside, all the way down to 15.7k. And as you can see, the market maker has shown his presence in these candles, so we could recover those or we will recover those at some point so be very careful if you are in longs take some profits and if you are considering longs please consider those volume candles to the downside let's look at the liquidation map see what we got okay we do have a lot of money to the downside it's been growing ever since uh, my day trading updates from yeah last week and this week could see that there is a lot of money that will get liquidated from 17.4k down to 16.5k approximately 
And if we summarize it quickly, we can see yeah, we had $50 million in this high. Yeah, <laughs> approximately $150 million to the market maker in his pocket if price goes to these points. And to the upside, however, we don't have much in the near term. We have a little bit of a cluster here at 20K with $12 million and some at 21K as well. However, it's not as much as it is to the downside and we are the same distance from 17K to 21K approximately, or are we? Moving on to Chainlink, then we can see that my targets to the upside are being met as far as I can see because when we were in this zone right here, I told you that Chainlink longs are looking juicy because $5.3 was the last zone of defense before a reversal and that is just what happened, we created a W bottom and I told you when we hit this zone at $5.6, we would reverse to the upside and create a W bottom. And that is what we did. Look at this, how beautiful. I have saved this pattern. I showed you that we could top out at $6.9. We are currently in this zone of $6.4. We have some volume to be recovered to the upside at $6.5. That's where we might have a drop down and then possibly the last leg up to $6.9. Yeah, and if you look at the altcoins in general, they haven't pumped as much as Bitcoin has. And I think when Bitcoin starts to create this double top, that is where you can see uh, another leg up in altcoins and especially Chainlink. And that is where we might hit the target of $6.8 to $6.9 approximately. And that is where you want to look at some shorts or take some profits on your longs. You guys that possibly listen to me and my analysis, you could have seen some nice profits right now. And as you know, $6.9 is a possible top out zone before a reversal to the downside. And that is where we will continue this pattern and see what happens next. That's it for Chainlink and for this video. I hope you learned something today and that you subscribe and like this video. Big Boss out.